So Dr. Kumar, two thirds of the providers either believe that nicotine causes cancer or aren't sure. How could this level of misinformation still exist among medical professionals? That's a great question. It's a systemic issue. Uh, it's a systemic issue uh, of decades of conflated uh, messaging around nicotine and, uh, and smoking. While public health campaigns have done a great job in creating um, you know, a messaging around the harms of smoking, they haven't done a great job in separating nicotine from smoking, right? Um, and so, so while smoking is addictive, it is not the cause of cancer, lung disease, respiratory disease. And so that distinction has not been consistently made um, uh, and that has not been consistently emphasized in medical education either. So what that has led to is led to confusion, persistent confusion among healthcare providers about nicotine. Yeah, and that's amazing. So what impact then does this have on patient counseling?